Welcome to the final part of this mini series of videos. Um, and the main feature of this video is your comments and your feedback on that little text video I posted. So I'm reading from the page here and uh, I'm also going to post a print screen of their comments as well so you can see who it is who posted it. So the first one was by someone called the Muffin Man 5466 who asked um, about population around what time is prime time in British summertime. Now I'd have to say, obviously I play in British summertime because that's where I live in Britain and I'd have to say around about from, you're talking late evening, so you're talking I'm going to say around about 8 o'clock till about 3am I think, 8pm till 3am is the main prime time, especially the later as you go on, the more, midnight really is the main prime time you're talking. Um, and then after about 3am all the way up to early in the morning you just get the old people who are staying on just uh, farming empty city sieges for renown so, so that's that's what I think um, the next one is someone Dumbman173 who asked I'd like to see more about your ideas on the high renown rank balance tier 5 maybe and the return of fortresses so um, fortresses I'm not going to talk about that uh, because I've already done the whole video on that so if you want to see that mate, go check that video out. I'll link all the other videos I've done in this series in the description and also do a little mini annotation thing on the, at the end. Um, but with this one, yeah, what I think about higher and rank balance. Here's the thing, overpowered. Um, the sets were nerfed greatly, which is brilliant to bring them more in line, but they still need a tier 5 because there is there is getting out, there is a lot of people hitting renowned rank 90 and 100. Uh, and they are getting bored. So they, they are getting bored because they are getting bored of farming low biz, they are getting bored of hitting people who can pretty much one shot and I don't blame them, you know, we need we need something for them, we need something new for them, something for them to do once they hit renown rank 100 um, I think there is still a lot of imbalance there and like I say, a tier 5 would be good but there won't be a lot of people in it yet because although there's a lot of people in renown rank 90 and 100, there's still not loads um, so maybe they could do a tier 5 without, four, uh, without keeps maybe and just do like a mini mini zone, I don't know. That one is going to have to take a lot of discussing and a lot of time to work out. Um, so the next comment is by someone called the One Three Two Moonster, um, and he asked if the structure of the classes have fallen apart. Any classes that are underused and under dead, uh, used and dead. Yeah, I discussed this again. I did a whole video about this class balances, so I'll link that to you. But talk about it briefly. Choppers. Choppers are shit. They are a mirror class of a slayer, and I'm telling you right now, there is no reason why you would choose a chopper over a slayer. It is, it's, there is no, there is not one reason anymore why you would choose chopper over slayer. And to be honest, in my opinion and a lot of other people's opinions on the forums and stuff, they all agree that choppers are now probably the worst melee DPS in the game. Uh, now, what I'm saying is, slayers don't need to be nerfed. What I'm saying is, choppers need to be buffed to bring in line with all the other melee DPS. So that's what I that's what I feel. Um, other classes that are under maybe uh, Blackguard. You don't see many Blackguard around, um, but I couldn't really tell you if they're underpowered or overpowered because uh, I've never played Blackguard. So next question is by um, Bamf five 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 zero one two three, and he asked, "What do you think made Ward to be just another one of those let down MMOs?" Why did everyone break away from it within the first few months? And why do you think Mythic let this happen? And do you think Mythic will ever let their mass, will ever get their mass amount population back? Thanks for the bids. No problem, dude. Um, so the reason I think it turned out like this was also the reason why I think everyone left, and that was because when it was released, there was bugs galore in it. There were so many bugs. There was so many features that said coming soon, and there weren't in it or so many features where it was like, oh, this is going to be awesome, and it was nothing. The reason for this is because there was they they released it way too early. They they oh, it, they shouldn't have released it when they did. It was an incomplete game. It was it was still in beta mode near enough. They there were still so many features that they didn't implement. If they waited, if they'd have waited till we're talking at least. I don't know, maybe half a year later, maybe, they could have had a game on their hands and it, it could have worked and it could have been pretty big because Warhammer Online had the potential to be the next big MMO and I'm not joking here, it really could and a lot of people who played WoW and stuff also agreed that 
they thought that this game was going to be the next big MMO. And it could have been. It really could have been if Mythic had just taken a little more time and a little more put in a little more effort to make it a better and more complete game. It could have been the next big MMO. It still, if they release the game how it is now, it still could be the next big MMO. It's, it's got so much potential. There is, it's such a huge game. It's got so many different things in it. It's got a lot of potential for new things. And it's, it's not going to be unfortunately. And I think it is a waste of an MMO because it is such a brilliant game. I love it so much. You know, I have such a passion for the game, as you can probably tell. I've been making the videos, um, and. It's just been wasted, I think. I don't think they'll ever get their main massive population back that they had when the game first released. Because people are too scared to go back to the game because they've either got too settled in other games, such as Rift or WoW or whatever. Or because there's a lot of new games coming out now. There's Star Wars The Old Republic, which I'll definitely be playing. Um, Warhammer 40,000 Dark Millennium, Guild Wars 2 or Guild Wars 3, whatever it's going to be. I think this could be the final blow for Warhammer Online. You know, this this could be it. This could be the final blow. Star Wars The Old Republic definitely could be the final blow. That's really going to reduce the population down in Warhammer 2 dead, I think. Um, I'm not going to stop playing it. The only, the only time I'm going to stop playing it is if they say, okay, we're shutting the game down, or if there's really nothing to do. Um, but I am still going to be playing Star Wars The Old Republic. But yeah, I don't think they'll ever get their population back. Um... And the reason they let this happen was, they just, I, I'm, I don't necessarily think it's Mythic's fault, I think it's EA's fault. And the reason for this is I don't think EA spent enough money and enough time with Mythic and put enough money into them to allow them to have a really good game. EA could have had a winner on their hands, EA could have had a storm of a game that could have wiped out all of their MMOs because it was really a good concept, but they just screwed it up. So the next question here is from Semp the Great. I'd like to hear your thoughts about an ex expansion, new races, balancing the PvE level Renown rank issue, and the fact that you spend years on leveling a character by doing RVR and actually do something worth in Tier 4. So, uh, an expansion. Yeah. I really like that idea, and I think they need to do it. One thing I think they should do was, they say in, they're saying in 1.4.5 they want to bring out fortresses. Now... I reckon, don't bring it out in 1.4.5, bring it out as an expansion. So say, right, we've got fortresses, bring out a new zone as well. New scenarios, new classes, put it all in an expansion. You could have a win on your hands and I think you'll get a lot of people coming back to the game and that could be something that could not revive your game but boost the population. Um, because, you know, we're all after new classes, we're all after fortresses, we're all after new content, and an expansion could really do this. Um, the issue with level and renown rank, I think it's fine how it is. Um, although, one thing it does piss me off, it does take a while to level your level. Level your level? <laughs> um, it does take a while to do that, because... Which is good in a way if you want to get your high renown rank, but... Once you've hit a certain renown rank, if you want to then ding to tier 4, it takes ages just to level... So, but yeah, thanks for the question. The next one is by someone called God of Orcs, and he said, "If they can, if they can't fix the population across the servers, will ma will they make one Euro on one North American server?" <laughs> Not just yet, and I can't see that happening for a while. The only reason is, is because there will be too much lag. Um, you know, Mythic haven't got the money in EA, believe it or not. Well, they are, probably have got the money, but they just won't be, haven't got the the brains to put the money into the game. Is to make a huge server f to to co to compensate for that amount of players. I mean, there is a lot of if you go on Carrick Asgard on Carrick Norn, you put all those players in one zone. Just say just on Carrick Norn, if you put everyone in one zone, the server does crash. Okay, so merging two servers together will just be catastrophic. It will be good because it'd be more people and more scenario pops, which is always good. Downside is the server will crash twenty four seven. So. Yeah, that, that would be bad. I think when the population gets even more or less, you know, I think after Star Wars The Old Republic, if they do really do lose a lot of players, doing that would be the smart idea. Uh, the next question is by someone called CTS53. Well, I'm pretty sure you remember the, my idea for an expansion. I would like to hear your thoughts on what Mythic would, could do to bring war into a major population of PvP lovers' radar. Uh, to a major portion of PvP lovers' radar. Also, if they were to add other classes, what would you like? 
Well, let's talk about the classy thing first. I think I'd like to see Chaos Demons. Um, and also maybe Bretonia. They're, they're kind of cool. Um, because I think they need to tie into the storyline. And looking at all the, the armies within the Warhammer lore, I'm going to go through them all. There's, there's Beastmen, Bretonia, Demons of Chaos, Dark Elves, Dwarfs, High Elves, Lizard Men, Ogre Kingdoms, Orcs and Goblins, Skaven, The Empire, Tomb Kings, Vampire Counts, Wives of Chaos, and Wood Elves. And breathe. Um, so, there is a lot of choice to go from. So, I, I mean, Beastmen really could be kind of cool. That could be kind of cool. There is a lot of classes to choose from. I don't necessarily what I'd like know what I'd like now. In the future, maybe, yeah, I'd definitely... That, there is a lot of potential. To be honest, I think I'd like any any class would be good because they really need some new new stuff in there. Um, touching on your thoughts of what was this... Uh, what Mythic could do to bring war back into a major portion of PvP Lovers Radar. Um, doing what they're going to be doing soon in 1.4.5, um, which is bringing back fortresses, uh, new content, new scenarios, making the, the campaign even better. Um, but I think a lot of people are pretty reluctant to come back to the game and try it out because I think it's going to be a waste of money. And I honestly don't blame them for not doing that. Um, which is why I do these videos is because to spread the word of what Warhammer Online is like now, what so people get a good idea of what it's like before they can renew the subscription. Um, next question is by Taylor Vincent, and he asked, "I'd like to hear about the high renown rank plays balance versus lower ones." I already touched on that, so I won't talk about that. Um, if I think Mythic released a game as Windows and Mac compatible, would it have had a larger play base these days? Yes, but I don't think we'd see a gr a huge increase in population um because not a lot of people buy max to game on but there, there will obviously there will be an increase but i don't think there will be a major like a noticeable increase um it is already on mac anyway it is on mac um oh sorry you mean if the released games um yeah again like i say i don't think they would have noticed it on release if they made it back um there would have been a population increase, but not a noticeable one, so. Um, so the next question is... Let's have a look. Uh, where are we? I flesh works, and this is, in your opinion, is it worth subscribing to again? Pretty simple question. My answer is... If you've got... If you've got characters that are already there, waiting to be played on... So not don't if you've got like a level forty character there or a level thirty character then yes. If you haven't got any characters, wait until one point four point four comes out. Which is gonna be pretty soon. They're saying August, so um and the only reason I'm saying this is because it does take a while to level up. Um not your renown rank but your actual level. So it is worth subscribing to if you've got characters to come back to because there are a lot of changes and I think a lot of them you might like, so so that's my opinion on that one. And uh, that was it. So thank you very much for your comments. There wasn't too many, which is actually makes my life a lot easier because <laughs> um, there's not as many to go through. And it cuts down the time of this video, which is kind of good. Um, but yeah, thank you to every single person who commented. Um, and you, you lot have definitely come up with some really nice ideas and touched on some really good points here and it's, you can clearly see a pattern in the community of what their issues are such as class balances and renown rank 90 to 100 and new content expansions these are all the popular things which keep coming up and mythic seem to be neglecting but um you know hopefully you keep posting on the forums about this and we can get them to see sense and they are bringing back fortresses they are bringing back some new and old content so it, the game's looking up but i think it's on its last leg so unless unless they do something major Star Wars The Old Republic is going to be a massive kick for them, and they are going to lose a lot of plays if they don't be careful. So it is on its last legs. The Mythic really need to be careful on what they're doing. Any major mistakes, and it could kill the game near enough. So, But anyway, thank you to everyone who commented. Really appreciate it. Um, I really enjoyed doing these videos and looking at your comments and discussing them. And you know, if you ever have any more and you want me to talk about, just go on my Facebook or just post in a video or even a PM. And just say, hey, you know, what's your opinion on this? And if it's something I haven't talked about before, heck, I may even do a video about it. I don't know. I mean, normally I already have ideas of what I want to do on the video. But if I'm really stuck for ideas, I can just choose that, choose that topic and talk about it. 
So thank you very, very much for commenting. And if you like this video, please rate it, show your support. And uh, if you like these sort of chat videos talking about it. And um, yeah, I'd love to hear your responses on this. And until next time, I'll see you later.